Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Chris the Geek Bowman and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, usually I don't come on my YouTube channel and do reviews on episodes of TV shows. Um, I usually just come on here and do review movies and talk about other other things. Um, you know, like wrestling or music or whatever. Um, but I thought I'd take this um, time to come on my YouTube channel and talk about this past Monday's episode of Supergirl, Season 2, Episode 2. Um, I mean, I, I thought the episode was pretty good, except that um, I had one major problem with it. And that's the... Now, as you guys know... Kryptonite weakens both Superman and Super and Supergirl because they're both from Krypton, and Kryptonite is a radioactive piece of rock from their home planet of Krypton. Now they are fighting a character named Metallo. Um, of course, if you know Metallo, he has Kryptonite in his chest. So when they were went to fight Metallo, um, even though they got hit by Metallo's beams um, and got near or close enough to the Kryptonite, they were weakened only for temporar temporarily, um, for just a second, and and yet they were still able to fight him. How how how? I don't get how they were able to still fight Metallo when Kryptonite weakens them instantly. When they, you know if they get too close to it, it weakens them, and it can kill them. Kill them both. Yet they still continue to fight. I just don't get it. I didn't like it. It's like, I don't know how they were able to, to defeat Metallo when, you know, Metallo has a, has kryptonite in his chest. Which can, which, I, like I said, weakens them and can kill them. And then there was another Metallo in Metropolis. So they, each one of them had to stay in their cities and... Take them on in their own cities. Yet the same damn thing happened. They were still able to fight them both. Given the fact that they had that both Metallos had kryptonite in their chest. And they ended up defeating them. Which made no absolutely no sense whatsoever. Because the kryptonite would have weakened them both. Because they were so close to him. Yet they managed to fight him and eventually defeat him. I just didn't get it. I mean... I mean, the writers of the episode just like it's like the writers of the episode just, you know, basically said, you know what, fuck it, let's uh, let's only have the kryptonite affect them for a little bit, and then you know they could fight fight them and have them let's have them fight them again, and then you know finally defeat them. I just didn't understand it at all. I mean, kryptonite. It's like the kryptonite didn't have any effect, uh, barely had any effect on Superman and Supergirl. They just, like, took them out. I didn't get it. That's the only thing. But, so, hey, I mean, the episode was was good. I thought it was good. But I just didn't like the f the fact that I felt that the kryptonite b barely had any effect on him. Little to no effect on Superman and Supergirl. 
But uh, I just thought I'd come on here and uh, take this time to to you know voice my opinion about it. About the fact that the kryptonite had little to no effect on Superman and Supergirl. Oh yeah, and another thing, I'm kind of glad that Superman left because, uh, you know, if they would have kept him around for the whole season, it would have felt more like a Superman TV show. And that's what Tyler, Tyler Hecklin needs, is he needs his own show. They need to bring Superman to the CW. And... You know, give him his own show, which I hope they do. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that he's left after two ep two episodes, because you know, otherwise it would have felt like a Superman show rather than a Supergirl show. But now it's back to being a Supergirl show, and yeah, um. Yeah, but just thought I'd give my opinion about this week's episode. So, uh, anyway, guys, uh, I've been Chris the Geek Bowman, and uh, have a great day. And please, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I hope you guys do, and uh, have a nice day.